Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Uh, today we're continuing on with our Clone Wars 6 inch reviews. Um, they finally hit here in Australia this this last week, so really excited to uh, crack these open. Um, so today we're looking at Clone Pilot Hawk. This guy is looking pretty awesome. I'm digging it. I like the helmet design. Uh, the rest of the trooper seems to be, you know, just a straight repaint, repack, whatever. But, um, yeah, this is the first time he's been seen in this packaging. But I love that they've managed to get the sort of animated style and you just to, to ignore the reflection there of the ring light. But, um, yeah, really liking the look of this guy. So I can't wait to open him up. Well, this is the back of the packaging. Uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Really grateful to be able to have these um, didn't look like there was going to be any chance of these coming out in Australia but Zing Pop Culture has come through with the goods so um, yeah let's crack this one open and have a look at Clone Pilot Hawk alright here is Clone Pilot Hawk out of the packaging and uh, yeah despite the fact this is a new sort of helmet sculpt I feel like Hasbro sort of took a little backward step by using the old Clone Trooper mold on this one um, specifically when they sort of designed the new mold specifically for animated troops uh, given that we've had the Camino Trooper and the 332nd already um, yeah to go back and use this sculpt uh, yeah it's it's a little backward step but um, it's okay you know it's it's probably more so going to be a background character that you put on your shelf towards the back somewhere um, but you know I love the helmet I love the uh, you know I love the design nice to have another 501st member which is cool um, but yeah in terms of choice of you know the mold that they've used you know it's got the pins in the legs and the elbows uh, just raved about the Obi-Wan figure pictured just over there which I reviewed before um, yeah they gave him all the new updated arms and legs so yeah I'm not sure why they chose chose to do that with this one but um it is what it is um yeah probably not probably the least exciting out of out of the wave uh, of four figures but I still dig it I still like this helmet design it's it's good enough to pick up I think it's a uh, you know I love love the army building side of things and they have actually changed the torso of this one because he has a neck joint and I'm only just noticing this now but he does have the the new style neck so they've used the upper torso from the new troops and then used older parts throughout the rest now I'm, yeah I'm only really just sort of noticing that now so yeah that's that's very interesting I'm intrigued as to why they did that using some old parts with new parts and I can almost sort of see that there is room for those you know what I don't know because it looks like there isn't room for the uh, butterfly joints in there but they've slightly retooled it for this this particular figure so strange but again I'll take it because it's a cool looking clone um, I'm a big fan of army building um, if it wasn't like a character specific like being clone pilot hawk I'd probably go and grab another one but um you know it's an easy customization to make another 501st clone pilot but um yeah I'm, I'm digging digging it sort of you know weathering's a little bit scarce he's got a few scratches there on his um shoulder bells but that's about it no sort of real nicks and dents, there's a few little marks on the helmet sort of just below the wings and those wings are kind of cool but yeah I'm, I'm interested in that whole torso thing with the uh, retooled neck I feel like that's a lot of effort I need to look at the uh, the other clones like the 332nd because I feel like they had the room in there for butterfly joints and there does seem to be a fair bit of room in there but I'm not sure how they're tooled so I'm gonna to have to have a closer look at that um, after I've done with the review but that's just my uh, sort of I don't know that's that's I guess I've just sort of that's what I've sort of picked up 
but I guess depending on how that's put on too, they may have just retooled this torso for this figure so they can um, have that sort of pilot, the, the chest plate attachment as well. Look at the details on that. I wonder if that was like a no smoking sign. <laughs> yeah, it's Clone Pilot Hawk. An odd choice, but um, yeah, I'll take it every every day because it's uh, more Clone Wars stuff. Love Clone Wars. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And even consider joining as a member for a small, small fee per month. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm at nine members now. I'd love to get to double figures at some point. That would be amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm working very, very hard to get extra sort of behind the scenes content for everyone. So that'll be awesome. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Um, and yeah, one more to go. Arc Trooper Echo coming right up. So stay tuned for that. Until then, may the force be with you always.